The 60 inch blade tailgate LED is gonna be one of the top dog premium option tailgate bars here on the site for truck owners looking to add equal parts styling and functionality. Now the 60 inch option will combine red, amber, and white LEDs, which will serve as running lights, brake lights, turn signals, and hazards, while those white LEDs will of course add a little bit more visibility to reverse lights while backing up. Price point for the blade again is going to be at the premium level here, guys. You're looking at the mid to $200 price point, while the peel and stick plug and play install is gonna get a pretty solid one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter uh, with a little bit more detail to come later in the video. But well, let's talk a little bit more about what this tailgate bar can do because honestly, it is pretty impressive and probably the nicest one currently available on the site. Now, like most tailgate bars, it's gonna give you the function of a running light or a brake light, which is nice from a safety aspect, right? Anything you can do to make yourself more visible while on the road is certainly a good thing. But on top of that, you're also getting the added turn signal and hazard functionality thanks to the amber LEDs. Now that's a bit of a rarity in the category. Other bars will give you turn signals, but typically they just reuse the red LEDs, but not the case here. Last but not least, the blade will also incorporate some white LED lighting to illuminate in reverse, which will not only make you a little bit more visible while backing up, but the bright white lights will also make things a little bit more visible at nighttime, especially for you guys out there with an optional or factory tailgate camera. But lighting and features aside, the 60 inch blade is gonna pack over 2000 high powered Cobb LEDs, the most in the category by far, which have all been sealed in a tight polycarbonate housing that achieves a waterproof rating, by the way, of an IP69K. That's one of the highest achievable rankings when we're talking aftermarket lighting and basically just makes this thing impervious to dust, moisture, even high pressure water, or even high temperatures. Now, also worth mentioning here, gang, is the fact that this bar can be used on just about any make or model rig out there, including some of the newer Fords with lane keeping, blind spot systems, and also trailer assist. Now, this is a great time to segue into the installation here. And again, because this thing is designed to fit just about any truck out there, your results or your experience may vary from truck to truck. So just keep that in mind. But the basic gist here is, guys, uh, obviously one half is gonna be peel and stick to actually mount the blade itself underneath your factory tailgate, and the rest is going to be wiring. Now, the site claims most of this will be plug and play, but again, depending on the truck you're installing this on, you might have to get a little bit more custom here with the wiring depending on your situation. But regardless, to give you a better idea of how this job will go down at home, check out our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown now. Tools for our install, a wire stripper, wire cutter, zip ties, T-taps, and spades. Now this is gonna be a very simple install, only requiring a few hand tools with exception of a bit of wiring. We will get into that by starting with the brackets that hold our brake light up. Go ahead and take the provided strips of 3M and get them placed on the backside of your light brackets. And we're gonna do that four times overall and get them placed on the back of the light bar. Go ahead and try to place them evenly separate from each other. With your 3M strips now in place on the back of the brackets. Go ahead and peel off the red backing and then we can get the bar placed underneath the tailgate. Go ahead and place your light bar in between the tailgate and the bumper. Running the wire behind the left side of the bumper.
Now there are various ways that you can wire up this light bar. We've decided to wire right into the trailer harness. So go ahead and unplug that harness. Luckily with our truck, we have already tapped into our trailer harness. We are tapped into the green, the brown, the yellow, the white, and the gray. Now, since we are tapping into our trailer harness, we are gonna get rid of our four pin connector on the end of the light. From here, just peel back some of that protection so we can start stripping some of these wires. Now we can go ahead and take our wire stripper. Now we can grab our spade connectors for our T-tap. Now with our spades connected to our light, we are gonna go ahead and connect them to our T-taps on our trailer harness. It is going to be yellow to yellow. Green to green. Brown to brown. With black to white. And our white reverse light is going to go to the gray. At this time, you can go ahead and plug in your trailer harness back in its place. With your trailer harness now plugged in, go ahead and clean up some of that wiring so it's not in the way of any moving parts. And that's gonna wrap it up for this review and install of the 60 inch blade LED tailgate light bar with Universal Fitment. For more cool videos just like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at americantrucks.com.